This is a Wurmslang, a tree living snake that spends most of his life up in trees. Rarely comes to the ground. It might do so to come down to bask or to move from one tree to another. Uh, they average uh, around a meter in length, but they can exceed two meters in length. Vary tremendously in color. So in parts of the range, the males are bright green, sometimes with black between the scales. The females are brown and the juveniles are usually a gray brown color, but with a massive green eye. In other parts of the range, like the Western Cape, the males are usually black, blackish above with a, a bit of yellow, orange or green on the sides and the females are usually brown, but it's variable. So it's not unusual, unusual for us to see a, a green wormslung laying eggs. They are back fanged. So their fangs are roughly below the eye, quite far back in the mouth. And this often uh, leads people to think that they cannot easily bite. The myth is that they have to get hold of a little finger or so, which of course is not true because they can open their mouths very, very wide up to about 170 degrees. So if the snake really wants to, it can quite easily latch onto a person's arm or even your chest. The venom of the wormslung is potently hemotoxic. Drop for drop, probably by far the most venomous snake that we have in Africa. It is a slow acting venom. And uh, if you do have a bite from one of these snakes, you might have no symptoms for the first five or 10 or 20 or even 30 hours. First symptoms are, are usually a little bit of blood oozing out from the fang punctures, followed by a, a nosebleed, severe headaches, bleeding through the mucous membranes, and eventually bleeding through the lungs and all the, the other internal organs. There is a monovalent antivenom for worm slung bites. It's uh, highly effective where patients usually need two vials, but because bites are so infrequent, uh, it is not often that the antivenom is used. They feed uh, largely on uh, tree living lizards like chameleons, agamas. They may occasionally take uh, fledgling birds in their nests, but the worm slung is not quick enough to, to catch adult birds. So it's often thought that they, they feed largely on birds. That is definitely not the case. Reproduction. So females lay more than a dozen eggs at a time. And uh, the young measure around 40 centimeters in length when they, when they leave their eggs. 